Two coaches from respective South regions will be vying for, well, for a KFC license this year in the SAB League Administrators course held under the auspices, of course, of the South African Football Association. Coaching course to be held at the High Performance Center in Pretoria from the 5th to the 15th Feb. But don't take my word for it. Thomas Nong, coach of under 20, Amajita, welcome to Sports and Prime. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much yeah. for having me. I see you're an ambassador, right? Let's start right there. You're the ambassador for this particular cause. For somebody sitting at home and is not sure what you're speaking about, take us through it. What is this course about? What is a CAFC li uh, you know, um, uh, license about? What does it mean? Yeah, no, obviously, it's uh, the SAFA coaching education has the introductory entry level. Uh, that is called the C license uh, coaching qualification. Uh, that is the basic uh, qualification and um, uh, I was fortunate also to have uh, coached in the SAB league mm. back uh, in the townships, you know, a team by the name of Pinville Youngsters. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, I'm a proud product of the SAB league uh, because that is the third tier of South African football in the SAFA leagues and then of course, you know, as an ambassador, I'm honoured and uh, I would always encourage uh, fellow coaches, especially those that are coaching mm. uh, in the SAB League countrywide, mm. uh, to make sure that uh, they continue coaching and developing players and becoming part of their skills uh, camp in order just to keep learning, yeah. in order to become better coaches. I think, you know, you mentioned something important there. That's, this is where you start. You're now coach of the National Under-20 team, which yeah. is, I mean, the, the, I'd say it's not even a stepping stone. You you coaching internationally. So I think for someone sitting at home who says third tier, ah, is it worth it? But you're a product of it. Obviously, it, there is some good that comes out of it, and you can be somebody at the end of the day. You're a living example of that. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, it, it goes back to passion, you know. Uh, loving, uh, you know, having the passion to develop players, mm. uh, especially at grassroots level. And uh, hence the partnership between uh, SAB, as the main sponsor and SAFA, just to make sure that they continue uh, with the initiative of uh, coaching development, uh, because yeah, because because without um, uh, well-equipped coaches, yeah. without knowledgeable coaches, it will always be a problem to develop better players. Mm. I mean, following the success of the 2016 match officials and league administrators course held by you guys, the largest grassroots football program league is proud once again to host the SAB League. I mean. You always sit back and you look at the kids that you guys took through their paces. You look at the coaches that went through what you guys went through. Um, I, wanna, I don't want to ask whether it's is it growing, but what is the impact that you leave with for coaches some, uh, like yourself? Yeah, no, of course. Uh, for, for football to, 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 to develop in the country, uh, all stakeholders must play their part. And uh, the initiative is about uh, developing better administrators, referees as well. Mm. Uh, players, of course, and the coaches, and uh, and uh, I've learned so much. I've went through the uh, the C license programs back in 2003, and then I'll always encourage the coaches that they'll benefit so much uh, from such initiative, especially uh, in terms of educating themselves of, and, uh, as coaches, mm. and they will be able to produce better players, especially at grassroots level. Yeah which is one of our challenges in SA football. Well, you're part of that, and you're part of the solving that crisis, if I can put it that way. National Under-20 team, you speak about, you just left camp. Tell us a bit more about that. What are you guys up to there? Yeah, no, it was our first preparation camp. Uh, if you remember, the team qualified for the AFCON. The tournament will start on the 26th of February until the 12th of March. It will be hosted in Zambia. Mm. Uh, eight top nations will be competing to... Uh, to be part of the top four that will qualify for the under 20 FIFA World Cup mm -hmm. in Korea uh, this year, May. So, yeah, it's tough. Uh, we go into our second preparation camp next week, Monday, the 6th of Feb. Uh, we've got a couple of friendlies lined up, yeah. uh, countries like Zambia, in Zambia. Uh, they tell us, uh, my director's tell me they've got a minute to go, but I need to ask you something. I mean, we look at, at, at local football, we look at Amachita, we look at uh, after you guys look at the under 23 team. I'm not going to mention uh, the senior men's national team. I want to speak about that development structure because you guys are the ones churning out for the national team. Uh, what is it like down there? Because I, mean, I think at the end of the day, South Africans, we only really speak football when, at national team level. But that's where it begins, isn't it? Yeah, no, of course. Uh, this is where we build the stars of tomorrow. And uh, this is where we give them the opportunities to compete in CAF Junior uh, International Tournaments. 
I mean, the likes of Benny McCarthy were produced uh, from junior national teams. Uh, the likes of Stanton Fredericks, mm. you know, Jabupule. So it's Pe always important that Steven we... Stephen Pinar, I remember that. Exactly, Stephen Pinar, Tulani Serrero. So it's always important that we make sure that our junior national teams compete in CAF tournaments, FIFA tournaments, yeah. then we'll be able to produce better players for Bafana Bafana. I'm going to put you in the spot here. I know uh, uh, the, the association is probably watching, listening. I've always been of the th thought that it would be good that Tabo Sinong right now, under 20, I think it was a good example with Sheikhs Mashaba, under yes. 23, take that team to national level because there's a thing that you guys do as a team. There's a culture in football. There's a culture the coach brings into your squad. Uh, what's your thought on that? We're now, we're now just ch chatting. Yeah, no, it goes back to the SAFA vision 2022 yeah. of making sure that we encourage our junior national teams to compete uh, at FIFA CAF tournaments at every level. Uh, the under-23 has just competed in the Olympics. Yeah. Now it is our task again to make sure that this under-20 graduate to the under-23 and play in the next Olympic 2020 in Japan. And then that will help us to build a strong team for Qatar World Cup uh, in 2022. Mm. So it's all so about... So I'm seeing in Japan. <laughs> of course, it's important <laughs> to make sure that we go into the next Olympic. Yeah. I was the assistant coach last year yeah. uh, under Coach Owen Tagama, and it is key that we build a strong team, a better team that will qualify and then compete in 2020 in Japan. Tabu, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't answer my question that I'm seeing in Japan, but <laughs> uh, I understand. Thank you very much. Tabu Sinong, national coach, in fact, national team coach of the under-20 team right here in South Africa, speaking to us around the SAB League Skills Camp taking place 5th uh, to the 15th of Feb, yes? Yes. Yeah, of course, a uh, great course uh, for entry-level coaches, yeah. uh, uh, it will be instructed by one of the SAFA instructors, yeah. Mr. Steve Kotsier. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll also make a presentation uh, to coaches yeah. about the challenges of coaching in the mm -hmm. SAB and about the possible solution in order to make sure that we produce better footballers. Yeah. And yeah, uh, it's uh, hosted at the High Performance Center in Pretoria. So it's going to be a fruitful course. Yeah. And all the F SAFA 52 regions are, are, going to be there. are represented. Yeah. And a big thank you to SAB. Thank you very much there, Tabo Sinang, joining us right here on Sports and Prime. Quickly now, before we go to a quick break, the South African Netball Union, in fact, the Durban, Inve the Durban Convention Centre currently is hosting the quadrangular series between South Africa, the likes of New Zealand, the likes of Australia and England. Now, South Africa lost their opening match to England by 60 points to 55 uh, a couple of days ago. Here's a quick look. They were playing Australia a short while ago. Let's catch up on the latest from there. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. I think Lisa Alexander must have taken, you know, all the tips and the tactics, and I'm sure they sat in there, analyzed each other. But if we look at